Hey, you guys, Misty here today. Um, I'm going to do a color and chat in a brighter year calendar I received from Shante uh, Grossman. And I'm going to do a flip through and show you guys the calendar. I'm uh, waiting on some books I'm going to get from the Color and Hive. They're going to send me some books. And then when I get those in the mail, I'll go ahead and show the calendar. A flip through of this pretty calendar in my haul. So the one I'm going to color here is February. I'm going to put my paper back here. And um, the calendar, uh, each picture here, little picture, has uh, numbers on it. And it's not colored by number. It's uh, It represents the days of each month, like February the 18th, February the 19th, February the 8th. Each, each day, each number represents the day of the month. And you just color each number, whatever, like on the 2nd of February, whatever color you're feeling is what you color for that particular area. Or you can just go ahead and color the whole picture. I, so that's what I've been doing, just coloring the whole picture. But it's a different way of coloring. It's a unique way to do. Um, and let's just get started. Uh, I really love this calendar. I've already colored January and a few toward the front. But I'm going to wait and show you guys those when I do my flip through of the calendar. And we're going to use the, we're going to use the color at, uh, gel pens. And I'm trying to figure out what color I could use for the snow in the picture. Because there's a lot of white there. So... I may have to use a marker, I'm not sure, on the, um, for the snow on the trees, I'm not sure, I know you guys aren't really seeing that either, so I may have to, I may have to do, to use the marker on the snow, as bad as I hate to, because I told, told her that I would use the uh, gel pens on the picture, but I'll try to use what gel pens I can. We'll just see what we can do here. Well, it's a pretty glary color. I thought I decided I'd use the color gel pens on this. It's been a little while since I've, did, I've uh, done the color and tat. I miss talking to you guys. I had to take Pepper to the vet last week. Uh, me and Dwayne and Monterey and Betty went to the grocery store last Sunday. And I noticed a lump on his chest on the right area. And all of a sudden it's just one of those things you just notice. And you wonder how long it had been there. And why you, know, why you hadn't noticed it sooner. Because it was a pretty good sized lump. So I made an appointment to get the vet to check it and see if it was okay. And I took, took Pepper to the vet. And luckily it was okay. They checked it and they done the x-rays and blood work on Pepper. And he has trouble with his thyroids, come to find out. Because this is why he cannot lose weight good. is because of his thyroid problems. Because he weighs, he did weigh 26 uh, back in August, and now he weighs 24, but they said uh, putting him on thyroid pill would probably help him lose weight better, so uh, they give me, um, what I'm taking, what I'm giving him now is this kind, it's, a. Uh, it's, let's see, let me look and see how many milligrams it is, 0 0.2 milligrams, uh, they want me to give this to him, um, every 12 hours, and then recheck thyroid test in 21 days, 4 to 6 hours post pill. So I have to give him the pill about 4 to 6 hours before before I take him to the vet that day. And if it's not working, then they, they said they would give him a stronger milligram of uh, medicine. Just, you know, just to try it and see how it does. And also he has to take the joint pill for life. Um, I got this. It's a big container, and it was, it's about 40 something dollars for four months worth. 
that's a bet. And I noticed on Amazon you can get about 60 of them for around $60. I, think. I mean, wait a minute. I'm trying to think. Who be telling you wrong? No, I, mean, I am telling you wrong. Um, this is soft cheese, 60 chews right here for around $40. So you get about 120 chews on Amazon for about $60. And this is what they want me to give him. He has to take this for life. The joint, the joint pills. So I'm getting him straightened out now. Trying to get him straightened out. We'll see how he does with the new medicine that I'm giving him. There's always something, you know, last year I had to take Casper to the vet, now Pepper. But I am glad that nothing was wrong with that lump on him, because it's a pretty good size lump. And I was worried about that. And uh, they called me over at Mama's that day, that I took him to the vet, told me that he was okay, but if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do the blood work and get the x-rays. And I said, yeah, I want to go ahead and do that, you know. So I decided on that. Luckily, we didn't get a lot of snow. Yes, I see. Well, what day was it? Sunday? Yes, Sunday we were supposed to get like three to six inches of snow. And then we ended up getting about an inch. But we've been getting more snow this winter than what we usually get, you know. And we had to get out yesterday. Dwayne had to go have his uh, coronavirus test at the nursing home yesterday. He has to go on Mondays on his day off drive there in the evening to get his test. But so far, we haven't had, um, they haven't had any body test positive the past two weeks at the nursing home with the coronavirus that the residents and the workers has been okay on it so that's good that's really good yesterday also we had to go yesterday morning take Dwayne's truck get the oil changed in Bryson we did that and then we had to go back out yesterday evening and then got the oil changed. It was around $35 to get that done. And I took Casper. And the guy that runs it. He really liked Casper real well. He showed me a picture of his dog. He said he had a chihuahua and a feist. It looks a lot like Casper. And um, same color and everything. But Casper done okay. He was a little nervous when that guy was fooling with the tires on that car. He barked a little bit, but other than that, he done okay in the mm. place where you change your oil. That feller said we could bring the dog in there, so we went in and sat down. He said, uh, you don't have to wear the mask if you don't want to. And the said, yeah, we would, we're just, we'd rather wear the mask. I mean, Dwayne was wearing a mask. None of the workers in there were wearing a mask. So... At first, that guy that run it looked at us and said, well, I think it's all just a joke. And I kind of looked at him funny. And then he said, well, I hate that older people's dying from it, is what he said. After he turned around and said something else, you know, about it. But it's not a joke. I mean, it's not made up. It's not a joke or nothing from the government. It's just something that's happening, you know. People don't think right about it. I don't know, people's different people's got different opinions on it. Uh, Dwayne said this coming Wednesday he'll be ninety five percent protected. He he's already took two shots and this coming Wednesday will be fourteen days. So he'll be protected for um, ninety. He'll be protected ninety five percent now. Come Wednesday, which is good, and Mama's already took her second shot. Two.
I had to color them skates there purple. Oh, that's pretty shiny, isn't it? I think it's just funner just to color all of this at one time in one picture. Like, however, she took me to Waynesville this past Friday. I asked her if she would take me to Silva. I was wanting to get a Nintendo Switch Lite. I went ahead and got a Nintendo Switch Lite. And I was wanting a Nintendo Switch, but they're pretty expensive. They're about $200 more than the newer one. Went to Silva, and the, the game stopped there. They didn't have a uh, Nintendo Switch in stock. They said there wasn't one in stock for another 100 miles. And Walmart didn't have the Nintendo Switch. So I checked the Best Buy website in Waynesville. It said availability. And me and Kyra tried to call and get through to talk to them before we had went over there to Waynesville. It was about probably 50 minutes from Silva. And we just had went on over there. Kyra took me over there. I gave her some gas money for helping me. And they had one Nintendo Switch light up at the front register, behind the register, and it was yellow. And they said, yeah, that was the one they had left in stock. And I said, well, I want to go ahead and get it. So I went ahead and bought it. And I only had that one left. And then the Geek Squad was there. And they went ahead and put a screen protector on it for me. The screen protector was about $30, but I got three of them, and they put one on, and then I ended up buying, let's see, ended up buying about four games at Walmart beside Best Buy, and uh, also I went ahead and subscribed to the Nintendo uh, yearly subscription for a year, you get to uh, pick games mostly just download the older games and then you can get games cheaper so I went ahead and done that also I don't know what it was but I just had to have um a Nintendo Switch I just had to have one and it was a big investment it, it was I used my card to get it uh, the game and the equipment and I thought, now when I get this, I probably won't color as much, but I'm still coloring a lot and playing the game some, but I'm still coloring more in the long run, you know, right now anyway. But, um, I'll show you guys in a minute what game I got. Now, we might have to use the marker for the snow. I really hate it, but... I might have to. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I'll have to use the marker for the snow. I think I will. Let's color her legs in this dark color just to be doing. I don't know why, but... I'm just in a jail mood. See, this is number three I'm coloring right now. So this would be, this would have been February the 3rd. And then you just would have colored what color you wanted that day. This could, this is most likely could be her leggings. Not really her legs. Uh, nope, it would not be her legs. Uh, because it would be cold outside to be wearing shorts. So definitely it would be her leggings. For sure. So that's good. I guess I'm just wanting summer to get here so bad, you know. Spring and summer. What do you think about wearing shorts and it being warm sunshine? I 
I would like to do this one with all gel pens. I really would like to do it all with gel pens. I forgot to go with Kyra Meredith Silva today because I've got to go up there and get, um, I got a paper in the mail yesterday from social service. Once a year after reading my Medicaid, I just get Medicaid help on my medicine. It's the only Medicaid I get. So I got to go to Silva and get the information on how much I've got in the bank. And then in Bryson, I have to go by there. So I'm just going to go ahead and ride with them to Silva and Bryson and get it done. Yeah, I'm going to have to use some markers. Let me get my markers, guys. use some my spray markers I like my spray markers oh, a light blue if I can find it for the snow maybe a light blue color let's see I hope this one I've not used up all my Kelly arts or they're getting dry or something or another but if I had to choose, I'd rather, I believe I like spree markers better than the Kelly Arts. Which a lot of people like the Kelly Arts, but I believe I like the spree markers better. Right now they're on sale, guys. So look up, look them up on Amazon. Some of their markers are on sale right now. This is a pretty color, a light blue. And this is a good color I like to use for snow. A real light blue color. More of a gray. Yeah, I was wanting to, you know, do a flip through this calendar one video, but then I thought, no, I'll just wait until I get my other books from Color and Hive. They're going to send me some books, and then I'll just show them all in one video, you know, the flip throughs, because people like to watch them, watch videos of everything you get in one video, so that's what I was thinking I would be best to do. It's good that I can go ahead and record on here today because I didn't know if I'd have enough time. But Kyra said that we wouldn't leave until about noon today. And Mary's appointment not, is not till around 3. So I forgot to tell you guys that when I went to Best Buy in Waynesville the other day, I saw my brother Greg and his girlfriend walking in there, fixing to walk in the Best Buy. And so I talked to him, I told him I got a Nintendo Switch, and he has a, the newer Nintendo Switch, and he showed me his out in the car there. And it was nice running into him, because hardly ever do I see him out like that. That's the first time I met his girlfriend. So that was nice. Sometimes I forget what I'm going to say all in one area, but then I come back to and tell you guys about it. Just like I told, told you about taking Pepper to the vet, and um, that day I remember there was a little bit of snow on the road. We didn't get a whole lot of snow on the ground, but Daddy come over and got me and said the road was slick. It needed more when he come down and got me and took me and Pepper to the vet. Well, I had to drop Pepper off that day, and I had to pick him back up because they had to work him in 
and um, at the Whittier School there, we was passing by Whittier, and Daddy said that they tore down the old Whittier School, and it, I don't know when they tore it down, but a couple of years ago, I rode with my dad up by the old Whittier School around Christmas time, but Daddy said they tore it down, and he said when he was in eighth grade that, um, he said when he was in the eighth grade, he was chosen to ring the bell when the school bus was coming. So he'd have to watch out the window when the school bus would arrive. He'd see it coming. He'd have to ring the bell and let other, the other kids know the school bus was arriving, which I thought was pretty interesting to know. He told me that. And you'd have to ring the bell and let them know the school bus was arriving. So then I told Mom about that the story, and she didn't know about it. But I wouldn't even notice that the school had tore down if Daddy hadn't told me, because from the road you can't really see it that good, you know. You can't really see the school. It was. I remember it was a pretty good sized school though when me and Mom and Dad rode about the side of it that time no telling how long it been there and then they are building a new um, Dollar General up close to Cooper's Creek there at the gas station they've already got the building there when me and daddy passed by it because I'd heard you know they was building another one because we got that one across from Ingalls not too long ago from Bryson so there's another one going to be opening up close to Cooper's Creek there. I don't know what the deal is with all of a sudden with uh, Dollar Generals, but they're booming, I guess. I just like that color for snow. No, it's a lighter blue, I know. Let's see here. Yeah, I really hated that. I always want to use my markers, but um, I plan on coloring each each month out of this calendar. I plan on coloring each month out of this calendar on uh, camera for you guys and do a chat. So probably, you know, another picture I can use all gel pens. Let's see here. 22 minutes already. Time flies when you're on here chatting. I'm going to color these trees a gray color, I think. All gray. See now, this is so fun to do. I really like this calendar. I can't wait to show you guys the other pictures I colored before this month here. I call it January and a few of the pages up front. But I'm just going to wait and get those other items. Mm. Made sure I turn my phone down before I started chatting because it'll beep if I forget. My question is for you guys, and I'm not going to mention any names on here, but are you supposed to? have an open casket from somebody that dies with COVID you know is it allowed to is it are they contagious and I read on I googled it and it said that they was contagious and there was this uh, I'm not gonna mention names but they had his funeral the other day he was about off with COVID and they had his funeral and they had a casket open there was people there and some people I didn't notice was wearing a mask until they started leaving the service. 
and uh, I'm just wondering if if the person's contagious that was in the coffin and even some people passing through touched the person that was in the coffin and it just kind of worried me um, about it and I thought well I hope that that person is not contagious so I was just wondering your guys opinions on that if if they are you know because if they are then some of those people is going to get sick from that and I hate the person passed away but you have to also use some common sense so I don't know um if they are or not I guess the funeral home would know more about it and I'm sure they wanted to honor the person. They love the person, you know. And you, you want to have a funeral, but sometimes it's best not to. I think, especially um, especially if they've died from COVID, you know. But that's just my opinion on it. And it has been bothering me, you know. I know it's none of my business, but it does concern me. Cute little buildings there. Let's see here. See, that's, this is the kind of color I like. Just something simple and fun to do. Doesn't take much time to color. No. I have some crows out this morning. Wayne said last night he was in a mood to watch some ghost stories, so he watched some ghost stories on his player. I've been watching Dark Shadows. The TV series, too, guys. A lot of people I've talked to, they don't know about it. It's the Dark, Dark Shadows series. Just look it up. and You can find it on Prime and watch it free. You've got Prime with ads. Dark Shadows TV series from started out I think in the 60s and Barnabas is the vampire so I like watching it it's, I've seen the whole thing but it's been a while let's see here it's bridge I was doing a picture this morning out of Bamba Family's new book, Birds and Animals book, and I messed up on the elephant, but I just went ahead and went with it and finished it, because I had three blues out on the table, and I should have put them back in my pouch, and then I automatically grabbed the uh, blue for the middle color instead of uh, the gray, so some of it I went with went with the blue I couldn't fix it I tried I got the darker gray and went over the blue it should have been darker gray and it made it more of a dark blue so I just went ahead and had to leave it the way it was and I went in and showed it on my Instagram I thought well I'll just go ahead and show it you can pick whatever colors you want anyway on the three colors for a light, medium, and dark. The first picture I did yesterday was the duck picture. That was fun. I didn't mess up on that one, but I did on the elephant one. But there's more pictures in there I can do and work on. Let's see here. Color the fence. Brown color. Have it a little brown there. I like this blue. I really, I really like this blue color for snow. Do 
is really well. This color could be insane, but let's go with darker blue for this, maybe. Yeah, see how good these markers does? They're really good markers, and they're budget-friendly. So I definitely recommend these. And I'm the type of a person, I'm bad to just stick with one mar marker if I really like it. I'll just stick with one marker for a while before I buy any more markers, you know. I'll just use them for a while because they dry up easy and you have to use what you got pretty good, you know. But eventually I want to invest in the Ahu markers. I've never had those. I'd like to buy the biggest set they've got eventually. I probably should have done that instead of buying that Nintendo system. But oh well, I did. And it was a lot more than, the, than all of it combined, you know. Compared to the Nintendo system and the Uhuhu markers, it would have been a whole lot cheaper. But, I did it. Oops, I did it again. Oh yes I did, I did it again. Last uh, Nintendo system I bought was a Nintendo DS. I bought it in 2010. And at the time, it was, I thought it was pretty expensive then. $160 what I paid for one. And Mom and Greg took me over to Waynesville then. And I bought one. But I've taken good care of it. I've got a, plas I've got a plastic cover on it. And I've always had a screen protector on it. So I decided to invest in the... Switch lot. I like the Mario games. I don't think I'll buy the Mario Party one though. I like somebody said the older one was better. That was for the DS. And I've got that one. So I've got the Animal Crossing. I think I'll just play one game at a time. Right now I'm playing Mario Deluxe game. And I added Jamie as my friend on there. She was the first person I added as a friend, which was really exciting. So I have her as my friend, and Jessica Sparkles and Haley. They're my, let's see. No, I need to add Haley. I don't think I've added Haley yet. I need to send her a friend request on uh, Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, on the game. I really hope this marker holds out where I can color the whole picture. I don't know what the deal is with markers. I've been having a lot of markers go out on me. I've been struggling for color. And they'll go out right before I finish the picture, which is awful. Because then you have to try to match it up or go, oh, you'll have to end up going over the whole color again with something else to get it to look right, you know. But it looks like this one's going to hold out. What's good, too, if you got some lines or streaks in the sky, it just looks like it's clouds or something, you know kind of clouds blending in or just cloudy so it doesn't it's not as bad I don't think if it's on the sky
does look good for this guy. This color. I oh, got it. Step out. Almost there. Supposed to get some rain pretty soon. We've been having ice, and then when it snows here lately, and then it gets cold, and the ground just freezes with ice. And you have to be careful walking outside on it. You hate when you mess up on a picture, but you can't help it, but you hate to mess up, but mistakes happen, you know? I would like to walk today, but I won't have time. Um, I have to go and try to run up them papers for social services. I called her and left her message yesterday and asked her because I told her I didn't have the um, papers from my uh, doctor visits. They wanted the medical papers, the uh, medical visits. And I told her I didn't have it over a year. You know, I've just done phone conversations because of the COVID virus. But she never called me back. But I did read on the paper that if you don't have them, uh, you can also always just write down the doctor's address and their name. So I did that, and uh, hopefully that'll work. I'll always worry about it until I can get it going right, you know. Something to worry about. And I did have my med I did have Medicaid, but my other Medicaid, but they knocked it out about four or five years ago, and they said. Uh, said Dwayne made too much money which he makes enough to get by you know but they said that and they cut out um my Medicaid because of that they, they shouldn't go by what Dwayne does but they do you know they do that they shouldn't but they do and just like this time when I'm reapplying you have to reapply once a year I had to write down his uh, insurance number. When you know, why in the world does it matter if he's uh, is he's to I know we're married, but he's totally opposite from what I'm on. You know, the Medicaid. He's not part of it, but it's just the way of them trying to get out of trying to help you. I think what you need, because this time, I, sure enough, I had to write down his. Uh, insurance number and policy number this time usually i don't have to do that so hopefully it'll all work out because i need my medicaid you know to pay for apps pay for my medicine a lot i get the gabapentin and it's only about three dollars and then proxetine anxiety pill is just around a dollar since i'm get get my medicaid so there's a picture i got it done it turned out good Oh, wait a minute. Oh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and color this February here with the gel pen. I about forgot to do that. I about forgot to color that February in. So let's do that. Is that's the way I did the January. I just went ahead and colored it in with a, a gel pen. I think it's better than using a marker. I'm really glad I come across this artist. I talked to them on Instagram. They're really nice. 
because this is something I really like. You know, there's certain things you like. This is really fun. This calendar is really is kind of fun to do. I, like I said, I plan on coloring every page for the month. So we'll do that on we'll do that on chat. Let me turn this around this way because it'll be a little bit easier to color. March will be here before we know it. The way time flies is something else. It's hard not to do all the lines here. See, I smeared that one part a little. Maybe I can fix it with some uh, gel pen. My white in a minute. See if we can get it fixed. A and then the R and the Y. This one. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my gel pen and see if I can cover that up. That white might do it. I'm going to color it. I don't know. Blend it in a little bit better, maybe. It's better. I just used my white gel pen and my color it. Kind of smeared it in a little bit, so that's better. Yeah, that's better. I think that's okay. Oh, that turned out really good. February glitter there. I like the way this paper is. I need to ask her if she knows what kind of paper this is because it's really good to color on this paper. It's not your Amazon paper. It's it's really just really good paper to color on. So I can tell you guys what kind of paper it is if she knows. And also, I got this pretty picture yesterday from my friend Elizabeth. She sent it to me in the mail, and I wasn't expecting it. And it is so pretty. A friend is always, always loyal. Proverbs seventeen seventeen. And I wanted to show you guys this pretty picture that she colored. She's the second person in my life that has colored a picture for me. My first, the first person was my mother-in-law. She colored a picture, and I'll show you that picture. And then this one right here was from Elizabeth. So this is very special to me. And um, I thank you, Elizabeth, for this beautiful picture. The gel pen is so beautiful on it. so pretty i want to get a frame and put it in get a frame and also this is the picture um, that was colored for me from my mother-in-law this one right here um my mother-in-law colored for me trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your under own understanding and she did this one for me I really like it. Dwayne had one also. He had one that they had colored. But I don't see it. I think I was thinking it was in here. Yeah, here it is. Let me get it. No, that might have been. Okay. I believe that picture I showed you was um, the one Dwayne picked out. Because she let us pick out which one we wanted. So this one's mine right here. She colored, For God so loved the world that he gave his only, his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This is John 3, 16. She colored this one and I put it in a frame. Yeah, this is the one that, uh, this is one I picked out right here. I've got it in here on the kitchen wall. Uh, let's see, we got it. 
Yeah, we got it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my chat. And I will be back again. I love you all very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.